Hey there! Welcome to day 266 of, of, of Life According to Yovo. However, I'm holding in my hand Encouragements for Your Endeavors, written by my friend Dwayne E. Shig. He is having the encouragement encounter on Saturday, March 12th, and I would like for you to go tell him Yobo sent you. Let me just read a little, little bit on the back of his book. Oh, follow me on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter, but I want to give you just a little taste of uh, Dwayne Shig. As you pursue your purpose, you will discover that there will be plenty of people that will discourage you and not many to encourage you. I know that's right. I wanted to do something about that, he says. I began a series of daily posts on Facebook called Today is a Good Day to give people a shot of inspiration. I also began a video series on YouTube and Facebook called Words of Encouragement. That moved to a weekly blog to give people a short message that would equip them as they journey toward their goal. It has been helpful and appreciated by many. This third book is the this book is the third morphing of that endeavor. It's a collection of some of those posts and messages that I have termed encouragements. When you need to be encouraged, you can't always call people. See this chapter, difficulties and disappointments. If you ever been there, wave your hand in the air. If that's where you are now, find your way to the encouragement encounter. Find his page, Dwayne Shig. He's on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. Get yourself to the encouragement encounter. You will appreciate it. Welcome back. Day 265, I told you all about my friend who recently discovered that her uh, her father, her bio father, when she found him, he's no longer living. But it had always been a mystery because her mother wouldn't tell her any information. Now here she is, mid-50s, mid to late 50s, and finally discovering who he is. The name was on the birth certificate. I tell that story in detail on day 265. But now let's learn from her story. Many times, we don't know the whole story. She's been carrying around baggage for 50-some years, wanting to know who this mystery, mystery man was. Sometimes if we know the whole story, it'll give us a different outlook on it. Has she known the whole story? She could have dropped that baggage a long time ago. And this is the question. Do you have to know the whole story in order to drop your baggage? Or can you let some of it go now? What was the story? I can't tell you the whole story because her mother is deceased. What we do know is that her biological father was one of two men. Those two men happened to be brothers. Told y'all in the day 265 message, if it was me, I ain't going to say I wouldn't sleep with two brothers, but i tell you what I know for sure. I wouldn't tell y'all I slept. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hey. Woo. I wouldn't tell nobody I slept with two brothers. That's for sure. So now we know why the mother kept it a secret. See, this is the situation. Sometimes when we young, my friend Dwayne Shea calls it young and stupid, we do young and stupid stuff. We don't even know we're doing young and stupid stuff. It's only later when we look back on it, we hang our heads in shame and say, oh, I can't believe I did something like that. Those are the things we keep to ourselves. Sometimes we do young and stupid things and other people then become involved in it, as she did, because the mother ended up becoming pregnant. She had the daughter, the girl, but she kept her secret. There's more to the story. She talked to the man's daughter. Come to find out that the daughter is not a biological daughter. That was his wife's daughter. When he married the wife, she had this daughter. He raised the daughter as his own. But my friend is the only biological child of this man. She just learned that this man had been looking for her. The, the sister, I mean, I guess you can call him sister, stepsister. The stepsister told her, he's always known, he's always talked about you. He had looked for you. Why couldn't he find her? Well, for one, as the girl said, and the story that the girl told 
Well, she knew that they that she had the facts right. She said, "Well, your mother married, and we." Uh, he was told that the husband adopted you. Well, that's somewhat true. There was not a legal adoption, but she did take the man's name, just like this other stepsister had been adopted by her stepfather and taken his name. So if the man were looking for her, he couldn't find the mother because the mother's name had changed. He couldn't find my friend because her name had changed. And it's only in months, I'd say maybe a year ago, she added her birth name to her Facebook page. She had not used that name in uh, over five decades. But now by her using the name, if someone were to look for her, that's a name that they would be searching under. They'd be looking for, you know, so-and-so Johnson, not the name, not Smith. Okay. She said it made her feel so good to know that he had not abandoned her. There was a situation where they broke up. The mother married, moved on with her life. He didn't know where to find her. And what did he do? He asked enough people who told him enough of the truth. We know it was the truth because it's actually what happened. But he had no idea where to find her. Now she has put some of the pieces together. She knows for sure because her mother's best friend did confirm. Your mother swore me to secrecy. <laughs> she made me promise I wouldn't tell you that she did not know which of those two men were your father. That part is true. So now she knows her mother was embarrassed. Can you blame you? Can you hate someone for being embarrassed? Just think about the things that you're embarrassed about. Sometimes now when... The world of social media, somebody would do something stupid and it's plastered all over social media and everybody know your business. Or sometimes you might be doing something you don't have any business doing. You can't do that nowadays. People will whip out a camera. You don't know they record you in the middle of doing something stupid. Now everybody know your business. Don't you feel sorry for people when all their business is on front street? You can't blame a person for being embarrassed. I've done some things. I ain't telling no. I ain't telling no. Hold on a minute. Hey, I done done some things. I promise you. I ain't telling nobody. Nobody. And if it get out, I'm going to swear it's a lie. You can't blame the mother for being embarrassed. Mm. Now we see the other side to her story. And just like we know a little bit about the father, the two brothers, we know a little bit about the father who was actually looking for her. That's his side of the story. Now we know he wasn't a deadbeat dad. Now we know the mother, that the mother really wasn't trying to keep this information from her. The mother was trying to protect her dirty little secret. Can you see how it's all coming together? Hold on a minute. Put on my music. That's all I want you to do. I want you to look at your hurt and look at your pain. You may not even know the answer, but I want you to say your boo is probably right. That's probably another side to this story that I know nothing about. And as I ask you, do you have to know the truth in order to abandon your baggage? Is that what it's going to take? Or can you just... Let it go now. It's life according to your body. Let it go, baby. Come back tomorrow for day 267 of life according to your body. Let it go. All right. See y'all later. Bye-bye.